Today we're going to talk about how to take advantage of situations like this one where a price jumps off of a cliff and you really don't know what's going to happen. It could go below $4,000, it can go below $3,500, you don't know whether it's a crash or a correction, and as a result of that you freeze up. You don't know whether to put in a market or a limit order, whether to buy or to sell, and you miss an opportunity. How many times has that happened? Well today we're going to talk about how to avoid that exact situation and it starts off by analyzing previous price corrections. In a previous video on this channel titled The Bitcoin Bubble Isn't Popping Yet and I'll probably put a card in the upper right that links to it. I talk about the last two major price corrections for Bitcoin. The first one being where price went up to $5,000 and immediately reversed and the second one being where China banned ICOs and we saw another major price correction. The two major takeaways from those two corrections was that number one there is a ton of investors waiting on the sidelines with dry powder and number two is that they deploy that dry powder when price drops by roughly three hundred to five hundred dollars and what a surprise here that we see price drop by three hundred dollars and then we immediately see that jump back right now you can't predict where the bottom's going to be because i would have predicted for it to be forty one hundred dollars and it actually ended up being forty three hundred so there's a different way in which you can take advantage of a situation like this one and that is by putting in low ball limit orders on multiple exchanges. Let's discuss a little bit more about why you might want to do this. Now this is Crypto Watch and on Crypto Watch they sort of summarize all the different exchanges and the prices that you can see. It's just a great source for a ton of different information. Now if you're based in the US your two major options for exchanges for fiat to crypto is GDAX and Gemini. They're both FDIC insured and they're fairly reliable. They've gone through a number of different regulations, so they're pretty safe. Now, I would recommend you actually split your capital between these two different exchanges so that you have fiat on both of them. The reason I would do this is because during price corrections like this one, there's often going to be a divergence between the two different prices. And there was a major divergence in the last correction with the China ban of ICOs. How do you take advantage of a situation like that? Well, you can't unless you have fiat on the exchanges you want to arbitrage. So I recommend splitting your capital for that reason. The second reason I recommend splitting your capital is because you're going to want to put limit orders on multiple exchanges on multiple cryptocurrencies. Let's discuss that in a little bit more detail. So on Gemini here, it has an entirely different price behavior than what you see on GDAX. Why? because it's entirely inclusive to itself, meaning that the buyer and sellers on that platform don't interact at all with the buyer and sellers on GDAX, meaning that one seller could sell all of his Bitcoin and crash the price on Gemini and not do that on GDAX. So you want to have your limit orders spread between the different exchanges so that you can take advantage of the dynamics of a single exchange. And the only way in which you can do that is to prepare beforehand and have fiat on a number of different exchanges. The other thing that you want to do here is because you're putting low ball limit orders in, you're not going to be able to fill most of the time. However, if you put it across multiple different major cryptocurrencies, you might be able to get one of them to fill, right? So what I would do here in a situation like this one where you're seeing this massive crash I would put a limit order in for Bitcoin at 38 to 3900. I put one in for Litecoin at $60. I'd put one in Ethereum for 275. I'd put one in Dash for say 300 to 310. I'd put one in for say Zcash at roughly maybe 180 to 190 and so on and so forth, right? You put in these ridiculously low offers across multiple exchanges on multiple cryptocurrencies and if one of them fills, you know that you're getting an crazy good deal, right? Basically, Warren Buffett says the way that you can limit your downside exposure is by buying at a phenomenal price. That's the best way to limit your risk. And you have the opportunity to buy at a great price where you see price action like this one. Now, the other thing I want to point out about this particular correction is that I mentioned in my previous video that correlations between cryptocurrencies are increasing again. In other words, a huge narrative through the month of August was that altcoins were selling off and that money was flowing into Bitcoin. But we can see here again that cryptocurrencies are moving in the same direction at the same time again. I mean, look at how closely correlated all of these charts are, right? And so what I really want to point out about all of this is that the best way to take advantage of situations like this one 
I would really just try to take advantage of the panic selling and the way you take advantage of that is by putting in the low offers and waiting for them to fill, hoping that they fill on multiple different cryptocurrencies. I hope this video helped you all put into perspective that you don't have to panic buy, you don't have to panic sell, you can just be patient and if you don't get to take part in the market then that probably means it didn't crash all that much and your current holdings are doing just fine. Are you going to be that sad about that? Probably not. But you might be sad if you buy into a crash and it goes even lower. But you're not going to be sad if you pick up some very cheap Bitcoin because you put a lowball offer in and if it goes lower than that then you're okay with that because you lost a lot less than you would have otherwise. I hope this was helpful for you all. Leave a like, subscription, comment. You know the whole nine yards. And I will respond to any comments. I look forward to reading them. And I will see you all in the next video.